It I marched into the solution of several and hyphen peroxide. Because our work really is validated through. First, let me say I'm not against the idea of free health care for all. I think it should be law, almost constitutional, maybe like a human right or what some may even call a God given right. Now the but. But a surgery like this one I'm showing you here would cost, I don't know, maybe uh, $92,480 per foot or something like that. But you saw them using a knife and hydrogen peroxide. So the thing with me is not an issue of free health care. The thing is the price of everything. With the free stuff, more people show up. And the more people show up, the more the rise in prices of goods and services. Exploitation, of course. People coming in the hospital with headaches. So I take this seriously or see it as feasible if Bernie or Elizabeth was talking about stopping or capping the cost of drugs and services. Drugs and doctors and nurses and technicians cost too much. And they'd see a cash cow rolling in, so there's the corruption going to come with that. Like when they raise minimum wages, companies are not going to take the hit. So they'll raise the cost of everything or dilute their products, making, you know, they'll make the dishwashing liquid a little bit thinner. Don't put as many chips in the chocolate chip ice cream. Maybe reduce the amount of peanuts in the payday. And the healthcare industry is not going to sit back and take a hit that would come as a result of free health care. So free scares me a bit. Or if not scares, it raises red flags. Fire engine red flags. Blood red flags. I see no reason at all that college should be free. You want what society sees as a higher education aside from or in addition to the free K through 12? then you should pay for it. The stack of college books cost about how much? About $42,752, right? Inflated prices for paper that's bonded together with glue. What happens with college tuition and other expenses is like what was going on at the Pentagon, I think about 10 years back, where the Pentagon was paying $900 for hammers. $900 each hammer. This is the same thing that goes on with colleges doing contract business. Doing business with companies that could charge basically whatever they want. Like politicians will hear about spending $80,000 of taxpayer money on office furniture, but that same furniture could have been bought from somewhere else for less than $800.